month, marijuana will be legal in Virginia. And the new law is already impacting police departments and their four-legged officers. That's right, McKee. Virginia State Police recently retired 13 of their canine officers. And now their focus is to retrain new dogs to go out into the field. On your side at 6, Desiree Montilla tells us how this process will look. 13 K-9 officers from Virginia State Police entered retirement following the legalization of recreational marijuana here in Virginia. Now the training begins for a new group of canines to not sniff this out. This K-9 officer with Virginia State Police is putting his nose to work to find drugs in this car. They're going to be trained to search out methamphetamine, ecstasy, heroin, and cocaine and, and different derivatives of those those narcotics. Go, this time, these canines will not be sniffing out marijuana. It comes as marijuana becomes legal in Virginia starting July 1st. Now with the new legislation, we've had to go back and retire those dog canines and uh, and start with brand new canines that uh, are not trained on the odor of marijuana. There's a financial impact because the dogs cost money to bring in uh, and then there's a uh, time impact. All the handlers have to come back in and get retrained with their new, new canine partners uh, before they can be out on the road working again. Six weeks ago, VSP started training their new four-legged officers. We'll find toys that they enjoy playing with and we'll introduce them to the odor of the narcotics and as they start to show a little interest towards that odor, we'll reward them. The 13-week training will help these dogs prepare for the field. We don't want anybody to be subject to some kind of illegal search because we didn't take the time to retrain handlers and train new dogs on something that's now legal. As for VSP's 13 retired canines, they were all adopted by their handlers. We get very attached with these dogs because we'll spend more time with the dogs through the week than we do with our own families. Uh, and, and of course the families also get attached to them. They become part of the family for them. The Henrico Police Department tells me all five of their narcotic detecting canines had to retire because of this new law in November of last year. But police say they have trained three new dogs to take on this task and took out marijuana out of the curriculum. On your side in Richmond, Desiree Montilla, NBC 12 News.